What is happening, everybody? Welcome on back to more Final Fantasy 16. Let's continue along with righting wrongs. Head on over to the abandoned chapel, meet up with the gang, and I guess make our way on into the capital. It's almost time to pay mommy dearest a visit. trouble on the way none worth mentioning as I was telling Jill it's worse than I thought the capital's crawling with soldiers and here I am the deserter come home which is why we'll be taking the back door <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Brothel. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. Looks like I got my pay for the day. I'm done. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. 
So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. So I wonder, are we gonna like bring that entire crystalline mountain down? I don't see any other side quests. That means we are going all in, baby. The Drake's head. Reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you'll not be able to return. Proceed. Yep. Let's go. Stocked up on potions. Feeling good. The city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> That'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments, allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right, we make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it, and the whole thing should come tumbling down. Ooh, we are taking down that whole ass man. If the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded, then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Come on, this way. I'm curious to see what the outcome of this is. Like, obviously, is there like some kind of immediate impact on the land? Do we see like parts that were blighted reflourish all of a sudden? Want to look at the little party member thing, all the sprites. All right, not quite empty. Let's get this over with. One single man from each in the sanctum. Man, I swear yeah. this passage used to be secret. <sighs> of course it did. Perfect plans, guy. Perfect plans. You know what? There's a lot of y'all.
They never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain, two arms and summon the cannoneer at once. Take these guys out first. I was talking about earlier. Mr. Chungus. More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. To the talker. Then let's shut him up.
get down. Ignition damage by 12%. Do you like ignition? I'll never get used to that. The classic or no, he was still a man. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. The irreversible change brought about by a living being's overexposure to aether. Creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self, and they may once have had. Becoming suffused with life force, usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Flora can also turn, resulting in twisted overgrowth. Those with ethereal tolerance, however, such as dominance and bearers, are less likely to turn Ashkik. Kashik. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. A little rem uh, reminiscent of like Mako poisoning. Yeah, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. I don't see any chests I gotta open, so we are good. Odds, but I'd rather not find out what he's done to everyone else. I came from that way. Good job, doggo. about to break doesn't look that far right so it's gonna fall down below into like the Quite as 
spry as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. I wonder in a situation like that, could he like turn into Ramu within like a split second and then just fly back on up? use the war cry to invigorate themselves Looking for that icon defeat them before they can deal too much damage oh god I can't even see what's going on when I do that <laughs> those ladders at all. Just run down here, grab that little shiny, and then we'll make our way through that little hole we saw. I think this might lead back to that gate where we saw the, the shiny item that we couldn't reach. That's the one we saw right there. Maybe? I don't know. That's the one we saw. sucks that it's like in, in enclosed spaces there's so much going on with it I can't really tell like I'm just like uh, stuff's happening but the potency of it is undeniable still short probably two more combats I think that was what 70 points Seeing the way it's shredding through enemies, we're definitely going to upgrade it. You know what? 
Damn. Oh, I guess we can read about Aether Floods. Concentrated Aether that form on the land's surface, thought to be the cause of imbalance and diffusion beneath. Usually invisible at flood levels, it takes on a blue glow. Kind of similar, it reminds me a little bit of a, like Mako poisoning. Really whiffing some of these, uh, quite a few of these counters. I'm just missing out, right? I don't know. It's like I like the potency of that move, but at the same time, I hate that it's like if I, if I'm in the middle of trying to build up my stagger percentage, it doesn't really pay off at all. I mean, you get the counter, obviously, it's quite strong. Sword. Ooh. That's cool. Finally got a new weapon. Didn't have to do anything. Just picked it up. With something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Two. Ask one. Once more. Aye, seeing as you're trying now. As if that was gonna keep us out. I was just I was just about to say, I'm like, we could probably use our little fireball for vision right about now. I've already knew. The crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Big, but this thing new? No, there, that's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Probably gonna use that in this escape a little bit later. That to group up things. That's pretty insanely strong. 
Are the two places connected somehow? Definitely got what I need to uh, pull this off now. I wonder what limit break would do. I guess it probably just gets stronger. It's master ignition and then over and gear. I mean, it's 12%, but that's like my strongest ability right now, so I think that's still going to be worth it. And then you attack by 7. 7 is absolutely nothing on 252. So let's do 15% there. And then 10% on Rook's Gambit, maybe? Because you're what? 10 defense. Well, my defense is lower, though. My defense is only 162. So that's... I mean, it's a little less than 10%. It's probably not worth using that. I'd probably be better off getting more more damage in. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Alright, well, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I was gonna keep pushing, but that mention of the Guardian reeks of boss encounter that is about to happen. So let's wrap things up here. We will tackle the Guardian in the next part, and I will see you all then.